Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We give God praise and glory. How awesome the Lord is in this place. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Just come on in. Come on in. Thank God for every one of you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. How excellent the Lord is. Oh, he's great. He's, he's awesome in this place. Come on in, everybody. As I work this thing out, come on in. Come on in. Hallelujah. Come on in. Let's magnify the Lord. Come on in. Let's give God the praise. Come on in. Oh, y'all remember that song? That's a song I really like. Come on in. Let's have a good time in search of his name. Hallelujah. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. 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 Let's magnify the Lord. Glory. Come on in. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, Sister Joanne, God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Come on. Hey, hey, come on in. It's a good day in the Lord. How good the Lord is. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Look how good the Lord is blessing us right now. Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, God is great. God is good. Oh, we are just so excited. Welcome to Artesian Christian Center. This is our Tuesday night live Bible study. And we are just so awesomely excited that you are here, that you are a part of uh, tonight's st uh, Bible study with us, and we just want you to just come on, just come on, just come on, and just allow the Lord to be with us today, and just do what the Lord will be doing, you know, ministering to us, His Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on in. As you uh, come on, please like and please share. As you come on, please like and please share. I'm just, uh, just delighted about the goodness of the Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Hey, Sister Clark. How you doing? Praise God. Hallelujah. And anybody else that's on that I don't see you, I'm just only can see. Praise God. There's some folks that are coming on. I see your likings. If you say hello to me, I know you're out there. Otherwise, I I, I won't know. And, you know, in the way Facebook does, you you may or may not, you know, it, it the, that algorithm be off, you know. You could probably have a thousand people on. It'll just, it'll just show a couple. But we thank God for you. Praise God. There's Pastor Edwards. God bless you, Pastor Edwards. He's showed up, and we thank God for him, and we look forward to him joining us a little later in the program as when he comes in. So we thank God for him. Hallelujah. As we bow our heads in prayer, let us go before the throne of grace. And we just know that the Lord is here to, he's here with us. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are so good and you're so kind and you're so wonderful. Thank you for this, these, this time of study, this time of fellowship. Thank you, God, that you're with us. Thank you for letting the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Thank you for it being acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thank you tonight, God, that you think through my mind. You speak through my vocal cords. You know what your people need to hear. We want to be aligned with what you, your word. 
We want to be on time, the right time, speaking the right word. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so wonderful. God is so awesome. How great is our God? Aren't you so glad that you're in the, you're blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give God the praise. We give him the glory. There is none like him. Truly he. He's so great. And we thank you for this opportunity. This little time of worship. The atmosphere is set. Praise God. As you come on, please like and please share. Get others on. Let them know that we're coming forth with the word. We're praying for those that are lifting up those that are in the hospital right now. We have church family that's in the hospital. And we're raising them. We are lifting them up before the Lord. That God will touch them. We got those that are home recuperating. And we thank God for touching them right now. In the name of Jesus. God hears, God knows, and we just thank him for being who he is and all that he's done. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hello. Praise God. Thank God for each and every one of you that's a part, that's here. Uh, ooh, praise God. Touch those bodies in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, Sister Kim. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for touching them. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 How many know prayer can go where your body, where your physical body, you may can't get there, but we can send prayer. He sent his word. And his word healed us. Hallelujah. His healing word. That right now word. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. I'm excited. How about you? I'm excited. I am excited. I am excited. You know, they used to say that song. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm excited and I just can't hide it. Hallelujah. I got stuff to say. I cannot hide it. God is just a wonderful Savior, a mighty God. And I'm just, you know, got to give him the praise. Hallelujah. He let me live another day. And I got to give him the praise. Praise the Lord. I got to worship the Lord. I got to, I, I got to, I, I just got to bless his name. Hallelujah. Yeah. When I think of, you know, that song that we used to sing, and if I had someone to strike it up, I said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Oh, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We got to set our mind, get that good energy flowing, get some great energy going right now. Hallelujah. Let's get some in this energy stirred up and get it abounding. Amen. Just get it flowing throughout this platform. 
Yes, 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 yes. We got a good, I believe we've been on a good study. And uh, we're going to finish this. Well, you know, we, I ain't going to say, I'm not going to really say finish. But, you know, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into it, you know. How many enjoying this fall, this beautiful fall weather? I know Sister Joanne, different one. How many of you enjoying this beautiful fall weather? It, this weather just feels so nice and crispy in the morning. How about that? You feel that nice crispness in the air? Just that little crispy feeling? The, the season is changing? Yes. Yes, it feels good. This is a wonderful time of the year. Not too hot. You're not too cold. Well, it's a nice, comfortable way, you know, just I call it, you know, my mom used to call it sweater weather. Yeah, this good old sweater weather. You know, it's, it feels good out there. But we praise God and thank God for those of you who are on and those of you who, uh, those that will, and I thank God for those that will be catching the replay and coming on later. We thank God um, for our pastor. Again, Pastor Harold W. Edwards, we praise God for him. We do certainly, again, look for him to be coming in uh, a little bit later down the road. And, um, and it's always so exciting to see him. But we are, you know, we've been studying a really good, and if y'all can remember, Y'all know we, we we started this some time ago. And what we've been, you know, we were studying about minding your business is what we started with. Well, the, the bigger theme is um, the benefit of study and knowing the truth. And that covers all our Bible study. That's the theme of our Bible study. The benefit, the benefit of study and knowing the truth. And then we got on this series, Minding Our Business. And then, and, and, and understanding and appreciating who we are in God, who, how, what, how the Lord has made us. Um, you know, we took that study out of um, Luke and um, where, and Matthew, where he was talking about how he gave each one of them a talent, though those the talents according to their several abilities. And um, we sort of use that as the platform to think about how um, God looks at us and what he expects of us and how we're expected to move um, in this kingdom, in this kingdom, right? And so we left off talking about Peter. We were utilizing Peter and talking about how we don't have to, God knows who we are, right? And, and, and for what he calls us to, praise God, what he calls us to, you know, that's what I say about this little Facebook, it is, it is, it is, it, the algorithms are off on this Facebook. And I know that it is. Um, because you, you can't look at the, the number that it says it's on here. Because they, we know that there are more than what they say. I know there is because I know the number of Artesian family that's on here. And then my husband, and it'll just say all kinds. So you can't be looking, that's why you can't, you can't be all focused. You got to stay focused. Praise God. Sometimes I'll be looking at the, the numbers and stuff. I can't be looking at that. I got to stay focused. got to stay focused on what I'm doing, right? So anyway, as I was saying, y'all please like and share, like and share. But as I was saying, God knows who we are. God knows this, this is nothing that's hidden from him. He knows who we are. And as we looked at Luke, when it says he gave each unto them according to their abilities. And so when we use the example of Peter and how when Jesus said, you come, you follow me, 
and I'll make you. That's what the word said. He said, come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. I make you, 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 you think you're catching fish now, but I'm going to make you. And I'm saying, when God calls us, or however he's called us, he's the one that makes us. He makes us. And so we're going to dig a little bit, and we're going to dig into this scripture. This is a good scripture. Turn to Psalm 139. Psalm 139. And we're going to read this. And I'm going to, I'm going to do it from two versions tonight. And I want to really get over to everyone um, how important it is to appreciate your unique self. That you're uniquely and wonderfully you and that it's purposeful that you are who you are. Okay? Let's turn to the Psalms 139. And we'll begin at the 13th verse. And I'm going to read this from the first from the New King James Version. And then I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. But I'm going to read uh, from the familiar passage that, you know, you may be used to hearing. And he says, For thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works. And that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee. When I was made in secret and curiously wroth in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance. Yet being unperfect and in thy book my members were written which in continents were fashioned when as yet there was none of, of them. 17, how precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand when I awake, I am still with thee. Praise God. Did you hear that? That's Psalms 139, verse 13 through 18. I read that in the King James Version. Let me Allow me to read that in the New Living Translation, if you would. Listen to this. He says, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. What listen listen to the writer. It says thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. <laughs> Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watch me as I was being formed in utter seclusion as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out. 
Oh, my God. Before a single day had passed. Verse 17. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God? They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them that outnumber the grains of the sand. They outnumber the grains of the sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, I you have to when you have to when you want to break this, we're gonna break this down just a little bit and 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 just raise up the value of your thoughts towards yourself and 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 where how we are counted in the kingdom. It says, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. I love this writer. He says, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Who is he talking to and who is he talking about? He's talking about himself and he's talking to the creator, the maker of the universe. He's taking the time to say, you know what? I, and then King James said, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. New Living Translation puts it even more. He said, you, your workmanship is marvelous. Look what you did. Look what you created. I have a, I have a whole problem uh, now that I know better. When you dare to, to form your mouth and tell God you are not worthy. People do that. I, I, you know, we've been talking about how, we, you know, over time, how people have, you know, we've been conditioned. We've been conditioned to feel a certain kind of way. Conditioned to feel a certain way, that way God looks at us. Conditioned to feel a certain way that we should feel about ourselves. But, I, but when you think about it, it's totally anti-biblical. It's just made up in somebody's mind and it sounded good. And people took it and ran with it and perpetually taught it. But it really doesn't go along with the word of how God thinks about us. Good evening. Beautiful family. Good evening. Cousin Patricia. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? When you look at this particular, when you look at this psalm, I embrace it for building up. My, uh, 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 you know, some people have an inferiority complex. Some people, you know, you feel down on yourself because you, you know, you've been sort of given that bill of goods. But when you read a psalm like this, when you read what this is saying about who the time that God took for us, when he said that you in verse that you made all the delicate inner parts of my body. Some people are so dissatisfied with how God made them, they just dissatisfied. They dissatisfied with the color. They dissatisfied with, you know, we've been, we've been conditioned. Yeah, we've been conditioned. We've been conditioned to say that you're, you know, I'm just saying we've just been conditioned sometimes not to appreciate all the wonderful parts of who we are. Because somebody, because you're looking through somebody else's eyes and not God's eyes. We're looking to be validated by somebody else who don't appreciate our worth and value. When our whole worth and value started with how God made us and who we are. When, when you look at the writer of this psalm, when he's encouraging the listener to listen, I want to tell you about a God whose thoughts towards you are numerous and they're great and they're good. And we're not even taking the time to think good thoughts about ourselves. And God is the one who you think that he's thinking. He's, I know the thoughts, the plans that I, it says in Jeremiah, that I have towards you. But we, 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 but you, I, I look around and I see a lot of people don't even have good thoughts about themselves. 
And you want to change that energy. You want to change it. Because changing the energy of all that, thank you, Sister Clark, for putting that in there. Jeremiah. You change the trajectory of that. Yes. Yes. Hear you the word of the Lord. Change the trajectory of that energy and it'll change the trajectory of, 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 of your destiny. Praise God. When you start thinking well of yourself, when you start thinking, and you know, some people have mixed that up. They say, well, no, you ought to think of thyself more highly than you ought to think. That's not what I'm saying. I'm thinking, think of, you know, think of yourself as you ought to think, which when you look into the word of God, he says that you were made so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. Meaning that, that you are, you are, you are, you are something. You are a specimen of high degree. You're so unique that your DNA is uniquely and wonderfully yours. Your fingerprints are, are, are uniquely and wonderfully yours. That there, there's no one just the, like your, your, your palm print is so uniquely yours that the, the hairs of your head, no matter if they're curly, straight, or whatever, your hairs are, 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 are I know them all. I can count the hairs upon your head. Praise God. Your body is so unique that you, God has given it a, an ability, an inability that the body has a way and a function that it can actually heal itself when it's put in the right. This body is something else. This brain. Now, you know, it takes my son or somebody to tell you about the workings of the brain and how it is that we don't even utilize the, the, uh, the, the, you know, the, uh, uh, enough of our brain. But if we were to really use, you know, we, we've been conditioned that's only a portion of it being used right. But, but if we were to really, that our, our mind is, uh, uh, is better than, it's, it's, it's a whole computer. Right? It is a whole computer. You know, it, I, I, the way we're made, if we were to maximize uh, the part of how God really want this thing to function, the high order that it should be, my God. But what's happened is, it has been sold a bill of goods, y'all. Come on now. We've been sold a whole bill of goods. We've been sold a bill of goods. <laughs> Pastor walk in and I can hear myself talking. We, we we have been. Because when we read the word of of just this song and we align it with with the New Testament scripture. When the New Testament scripture when when we look at that when 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 we look at the parable of the 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 ruler who's given into his servant and he gave it to them according to their ability. He knew what they could do and how they could do. And, and, and the fact of the matter is, he know if you work it, you're going to multiply it. That's what we, that, that's, that's our function. We are built to get big, to do better. Jesus says, even greater works. I want you to do greater works. You see what I do, but I want you to do even greater than I do. You will have the ability. You have the, you, you have the makeup to even do greater. I was listening at the news this morning. And I was listening at them talk about this guy who's over Tesla. I think, yeah, I can't, for whatever reason, I got a freeze on his name. But this guy who's over Tesla. Now, it y'all need to know that this guy that's over Tesla, and I need to look it up because I really want to say his name. Because I usually think of uh, 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 um, uh, uh, 
I'm going to tell I'm going to tell you his name. His name is Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I'm going to tell you about Elon Musk. Now, I've never heard Elon Musk tout anything about being religious, safe, or nothing Elon like Musk. that. Thank you. And I've, I've never heard him say anything about that, right? But the thing that about Elon Musk, and I heard on the news this morning, and you all got to know, Elon Musk is, is diagnosed as autistic, a level of autistic, he is on the autistic spectrum. Listen, that he, that they, man has diagnosed him on the autistic spectrum. I think that he has a, some form of what they call Asp, Asperger's or something like that, right? He's on that, he, he's like that which some people consider a disability or a mental defect, right? No, this is him. He and him too. They tell me on the news this morning, praise God, Pastor praise him, Edwards, praise him. they tell me on the news this morning that his company has now been rated a trillion-dollar company. Pause. And think about that. You just pause and think on that. <clears throat> a trillion dollar company. Mm. And what that tells me, if someone parks their mind where people put them, it'll stump you. But if you dismiss what the naysayers are saying, and you tap into what God has put in you, Eyes haven't seen, nor ears have heard. See, this is this is what we're trying to launch into. We get when we hear this, hey Kelly, when we hear this stuff where people say that, you know, uh, you know, so I'm so unworthy. Oh God, just so oh, I'm just the, you know. That ain't what God say about you. That ain't what God says. But I'm coming in the blood. No, that ain't what he says. Hallelujah. Pastor, you want to give greetings? I'm sorry. I'm just, you here. And, oh, no. And I'm on a roll. You can go you, ahead and you give greetings. You're on a roll. You're doing good. I appreciate it. I thank God for this opportunity. We thank God for, for our wonderful teacher today. We appreciate her. She's so lovely. And we appreciate her. And I, and I thank God for everyone that's on the line and everyone that will be tuning in later. And I appreciate you for, for, for all the prayers and, and the support that you do for us and, and, and that you do for the kingdom of, of God. And we appreciate the, the, uh, just the very kindness of the words that you say, the, 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 the likes and the shares. And, and we thank you for, for uh, uh, <clears throat> um, subscribing to us on YouTube and also like and share on YouTube. We appreciate everything and we love God with all our hearts, mind, and soul. Thank you, Pastor. And so what we're sharing today is just talking about seeing ourselves as God sees Amen. us. Amen. Amen. Seeing ourselves as God sees us. And this writer, if, if we look at the writer of this song, and when he says in this, in this part, if you, how, in verse 17, it says, how precious are your thoughts about me, O God? They cannot be numbered. And the thing I like about it, the word says he's not a respecter of person. When we don't count on the validation of man to push us along, but if we went with the what God thought about us, mm -hmm. To push us along? Mm -hmm. Never mind what you think about me. What does God think about me? And the overarching point, what do you think about yourself? That's right. Very good. When, we, when we're talking about minding your business and we're talking about understanding your gifts and abilities and when we're thinking about really gravitating and, and, and really appreciating who you are, Whose you are. That you, that's enough. Glory to God. That's enough. 
People, are, we, when you, you know, so many times we're looking past who, what has been put in us, who we are. That's why Peter was such a unique kind of example that when we, we were studying, he's such a unique example because Peter was one, he was on a boat. Mm. But what God saw in him, when Jesus called him, he called him for what he, not for what he was doing right then, but for what he saw. He said, I, what I see in you That's right. is going to help build a whole new kingdom here. The, you're going to usher in the new church. You going to do it. You, you ruddy fisherman on the outside. But what I see, what I made, what's in you. And that's why I said, you, you know, this, 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 this boy who, this Elon Musk, who they said that he was artistic. Now he has a whole trillion dollar company. If he had stopped to listen to the naysayers or the other ones who said that you are disabled, you got, you have a disability, you have a mental defect. He didn't have to listen to that. He let he used the parts that they, they because they're uh, over performers or whatever they could be. He gonna use that to his advantage. And what he's what he's done, and what he's created. My husband want one now. Bless him, Jesus. He wants he wants an electric car. He, he want I don't, ain't particular about going to space, but he wants an no. electric car. Praise God. He wants space. a Tesla. But this is but the but the point I'm making is that when we really see this thing, we uh, people sometimes it's always so easy to figure out why it is that you can't. God is always trying to tell you why you can. Throughout this whole book, He's telling you why you can. Moses. When God said, I want you to go. That's right. And when I want you to speak, I want you to tell them to let my people go. What did Moses say, Pastor? What was his first issue? What was his problem? Wait. Now, because he was a former, former, former prince and everything else, but what was his problem? I uh, seemed like he lost confidence in himself. He lost confidence in himself. That's what it seems like. Yeah. And because he starts saying, well, I can't because, what? I can't be, what? Because, because, because he start looking at himself. Himself. And the thing is, is that. And not what God made him. Is that, why God called is, him. Is that that is a key that we can't just rely on ourselves, but with God. Who God made us is the That's point. Right. That's, That's, what right. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. That's right. That's what I'm trying to get because right. see, God in us. That's right. And, That's what I'm and, talking and so, about. And so with God, you have to realize who you are. That's the point. And, 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 and because, because see, the thing is, is that we're not, you, you shouldn't try to do anything without God, but you shouldn't be so looking at yourself so that you forget God. So where, 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 where he was almost, you, you, didn't, Think God created us all. God created every mouthpiece. <laughs> God created every tongue. God created every mind. God created all of us. So when you forget, Pastor, I'm gonna take it one step further because I actually think that's a little bit of what that's a little bit of of, of tradition there. Because I've come to find out, he we we he made us. That's right. In his image. That's right. It's 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 by default. That we are with God because he made us. But it's when it, it, it's, it's our forgetting of who God, the God that's in us. That's right. Because he's, he said, I'm going to blow into you the what? The breath of life. That's right. And as long as there's breath, God is in us. See, that's what's, that's the missing piece. That's the part that we, we miss. That Moses, even when he was saying, who made you? That if I'm the God that made you and I'm the God that called you, 
then I'm the God that he said, I will make you fisher of men. I'm going to pull it out of you. I'm going to be present for whatever you need at that moment you need it, when you need it, how you need it. I, I'll formulate your mouth. If you know how to pray, I'll show you how to pray. If you need to do, I'm going to give you what you need in that moment. How are you going to do it? Well, yeah, that's right. Because because he, he asked most of who, who made it? Who? Who, who made it? I can't. Who made your mouth? Pastor, did you? Lord did who made it? Are you making my point for me? Here, 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 saints. Mm -hmm. Who made God? Who, who? Everything. This is this is why we are uh, sitting on this big powder, powerful. All that you are. It's all that God formulated. He said, look at what he said. When you were in the darkest part of your mother's womb, mm -hmm. I was watching over you to That's do right. what I need to do. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible say. Mm -hmm. That's what this writer says. I, I tend to believe this writer. He says, he said, your workmanship is marvelous. That's right. But what happens is the creep. The creep of negativity, mm -hmm. the creep of negative energy, That's right. the creep of doubt, the creep of the, cause see, let me tell you, let me tell you how God works and how, how it's so important. When you think of this, think of this, you know, we were talking about Peter. Peter has been the centerpiece of a lot of what we've been talking about. And when we are talking about Peter, just as, as being just who he thought he was just a fisher, fisher man, but he really was a fisher of men. Okay. But when we looked at Peter and, 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 and when the test, a, a strong test came when he was in the boat and, and, and he, they were, and he with the rest of the disciples and they were looking out. And of course, what they saw, they thought was a ghost, a spirit of something of that nature coming toward them. And they found out who it was. Who was it? Walking on the water. Who Jesus. Was it? That was Jesus coming, walking Jesus. on the water, right? Mm -hmm. And so as Jesus came walking on the water, see, this is what, what happens when, when you allow, don't allow your mind to weigh you down. So your mind can build you up or your mind can weigh you down. Peter saw him. And then Peter said, if it be you. Mm -hmm. What did he say? Bid me to come. Bid me to come. In the same version. Now, now, he didn't say, if it be you, throw me a raft and draw me in. He didn't say, if it be you, give me a life jacket and let me swim to you. He said, if it be you, bid me to come. When Peter released all the imagery of what holds him back. What did he proceed to do? Walk on the water. Say it loud, Pastor, because they need to know. What did he do? Walk on the water. Walk on the water. As long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. When he didn't consider mm -hmm. the negativity, which is either the wind, the boisterous, Whatever the thoughts in your head or mm -hmm. any of that. When he didn't consider that, he was able to do a feat, a, a work of wonder. Come on now. But now, you got to put yourself, if you think about this, mm -hmm. here you are mm -hmm. in a boat. In a boat. And then, At night. And, 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 it's, and, it's, and, and it's storming. And it's, that, At night. That stuff going on. And it's dark. And, 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 <laughs> and it's dark, you, Pastor. Never seen no one standing on water before. And you're not even thinking about it. You know, so so the thing is, is that that would be kind of surprising to anybody. But see, the key and, was and, he ain't even, even in today's time. Yes, it would be. If, 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 if you are out on the, on, in the middle of the ocean or wherever you are, or, or, or you know that the, you're in a boat and the, because the water is deep mm -hmm. and somebody come walking on it. Mm-hmm. That going to that gonna get your attention. And you're going to wonder what's happening. Mm -hmm. and, so, and, so the, and so the thing is, is that, is that at least Peter mm -hmm. was took the effort. But what was the reason Peter walked? To, 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 he was quick. He, 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 had a, he, he was quick. He, he was quick. He, he 
would run into things Look, without even thinking about it. He would he would yeah. ask, he would, he would do stuff, and, and and I thank God for 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 uh, uh, the Lord using someone such as this because just think now we have different people in our own lives that that seem like they're running the stuff without even asking questions. Let me tell you about some of the I underline some of the things about about Peter. You know, we're talking about Peter. Mm -hmm. and, and and some of the ways that Peter was. Peter was eager. He was aggressive. Mm -hmm. He was bold. Mm -hmm. He was outspoken. Okay? And he was spontaneous. Mm -hmm. He was he was dependable. He was brash. He vacillated. He was impetuous. He was impulsive. Sometimes over eager. Peter was he was also one that Jesus called rock. Gave him the nickname Rock. Because mm -hmm. he said, upon this, Rock. I build my church. Mm -hmm. But what would you think about, what was one of the things that would make somebody walk on water? What would, how can you dismiss yourself and dis dismiss your um, incapable, what you would consider your inabilities, your incapable, that would allow, that you would literally be able to walk on, one, I know Jesus was there, but Jesus being there did not stop him from beginning to sink. There was something that was within Peter that allowed him to walk. What was it that allowed Peter to walk? Now that's a question, I'm just a question for y'all, it's a question for, I'm giving pastor, it's an open question, but what was it that allowed Peter to walk on water? Faith. Faith? Faith? Because because the reason why I say that... Was it faith? It that, could be faith, but I'm saying... You, you ever started something in the, in the, in the faith... Don't lose focus. But, but, but then you lose focus when stuff come up. Because God said for you to do this, and you start off in faith, God is with you, and, you're and everything like that. And you're that. moving. But time is... So you start thinking. Time is, sometimes time is the first wind blow or, 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 or this thing. Then you start thinking. Start and, thinking. Yeah. Because what happens is you start thinking yeah. mm -hmm. in your flesh. And what I mean by that, this is, this is, this is, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm prefacing this. What what happens is, and this is why I believe Peter initially could walk, Pastor, but then he began to sink, was because it was it was not about why he couldn't, but all about why he could. Okay. Anybody follow me? Because when he initially did this, it was not about why he couldn't, but it was why he could. And it was on that energy of why I can. What is what kept him up? Hear me. Hear me. He, it was the fact that when he, it wasn't a question of why I can't. Because he only said, what the, he said, if it be you, bid me come. That's right. And all he had to hear was to come. I, come. Oh, okay. And, and, and it wasn't until he was out there, then he began to think like, Wow. I can just imagine, just like Pastor said, you put yourself in that thought process where you go, wow. Am I actually, then you began, am I actually doing this? Am I actually standing on water? All right. And then you began to think, but what about gravity? Then you began to think about, what about matter? Then you began to think about, I'm a, I, we're not supposed to walk on water. And because you began to think that, like, like I heard somebody put in the chat, you begin to lose focus on what it is that you, why you can, and then you start thinking about why you can't. And if you focus on too much on why you can't, then you, then you will be give away to the, all those reasons. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all better get the principle. Get the principle in the word. Get the pastor. Is that a principle or what? Am I talking right? Well, when just think, I mean, I think talking right. Just I'm think, right. just, just, just right. think. When when you start off on something, they have many preachers that start different things that 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 even start churches and different things like that, and and, and they get out there. The Lord has the, the Lord is with them from the beginning, and they start and they do things, but then they lose their focus. They lose what they need to do because of what people say, uh -huh. or, or, or people say uh, 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 be, be, because you don't act like them. Uh, um, they, you ain't got nothing, or you ain't. You ain't called to, 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 to do anything. Uh, who are you? Who are you? you know what I'm see, see, and, and, see, and, and, and see, and see, and see, and see. The thing is, is that Woo! if you allow, you allow that to get in your head. Those, those you were walking. 
those those stormy words. Whoa. Those stormy words to, to, yes. to, 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 to stop you. You listen at that. Those storm look See, now you're going where I want to go. See, that's what generally happens when we, we miss the point. Because God has already said, my thoughts toward you are favorable. My thoughts toward you are for that you are successful, that you're yes. an overcomer, that you're the uh, you're only above, never beneath. You are you 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 know, and it's supposed to be stormy words. Those stormy words and stony words. Hallelujah. You know, he, he when, when when he's talking, when he when 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 we're understanding, listen, it's an all, Peter began to walk for all the reasons why he knew he could walk. All the reasons he could is what kept him up. But what took him down was all the reasons why he couldn't, why he allowed to get in his head. Like pastor say, those stormy words, That's right. those bolsterous looks. That's right. That's why you got to guard your gates, people. You have to guard your gates. You got to be careful what you let in. That's right. You got to be careful who you give audience to. That's right. That's right. But the Bible said, let not your heart be troubled. You, you, see, you got to be careful. That, because, see, when we read a, 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 a beautiful psalm, like Psalm 139, and we really get a gist of what it is, that, how God thinks about us, mm -hmm. and how he's setting us up for, for, for to, 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 to conquer, how he's setting us up to, 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 to win. He's setting us up to win. That's right. Pastor... Um, those who don't know was a was a mighty football player in his heyday, championship Lord help us. football player. <laughs> he was all that and 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 you know many bags of chips. I yes, yes, he was all that and many bags mm -hmm. of chips. That's was right. He played for the my our, our alum, uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm my my alma mater, our alma mater, Flor the Florida A and M University. Mm -hmm in Tallahassee, Florida, which their homecoming is this week, and we say happy homecoming, everybody. Right. But listen, Pastor told me this. Does it still thing ring true, Pastor? Pastor said that one of the things that he had to be careful about, he did not let the other, when the team's playing against the team, he had to be careful not let the other team get in his head. Get in your ear. Don't let them get in your ear. Because what they will do, they'll say all kind of things. That's right. To what they do, get you all focused. Isn't that right, Sister Kim? They say, you're going to want to get you all focused. Isn't that right? Artesian, you all know because pastors already said, stay focused. But he would say, because they'll say all kind of things to get you. Because if they know if they can get in your head, mm -hmm. they can get you off your game. Right. And getting you off your game means that you're going to, you're going to put up an L. And that, that don't, that's still the, that is still the 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 the, the modus uh, 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 about uh, of the enemy. That's still the way he do stuff. He still that's what he try to do. Get in your head. That's right. Get you off focus. Tell you all the reasons why you can't. When God has already given you the energy, because it's that energy that drives. Those thoughts that he have toward us, those are the things that takes us higher, Hallelujah. takes us, makes us win, gets us to that next level, right? Those are the thoughts that makes us do it. Is, is this helping anybody? This thing is real. When you stop seeking the validation of what others think, of what the naysayers think, and then you put... Oh, stay for by any. That's right, my brother Kevin. How you doing, my author? Listen, I'm just telling you. When you get on that train, where the whole thing is that you log log into what God thinks about you, His many thoughts toward you. Amen. All I do is win, win, win. Amen. 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 We, we, we thank God for our teacher today. We appreciate her. She's such an awesome, awesome, awesome and exciting teacher. And we appreciate her. Uh, um, as it is in uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9, 
in the King James Version, it says, The Lord is not slacking concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So through it all, God loves us. He cares for us. And he's not slacking his promises. Mm -hmm. What he said he'd, he'd do, he's already done. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. All we got to do is walk in it. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. All we got to do is walk in his promises. Walk in what he's already said. Yeah. Walk in what he's already done. And repent. And hallelujah. Come to know the, the Jesus Christ. Come to, to, to love him. Come to, to share uh, your life with God. Because God loves each and every one of us. God loves each and every one of us. God loves each and every one of us. That's why, that's why if you are if you are a child of God, you can't get by with certain things because he loves you. That's why he chase he, <laughs> he, he, he chasing you because he loves you. Oh glory to God. Uh, uh, you will let your 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 natural children, your earthly children, just get by with, with, with anything uh, 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 that you know of. Glory to God. And God loves us. He cares for us. And he wants the best for us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify you for you are God and there's no other. Thank you, God. Thank you. For how you bless us in every way, every, every aspect of our way. lives. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for how you keep our mind. Yes. How you keep our, 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 our spirit, our yes. soul, our bodies. Oh, yes. God, we appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. For everything you've done that you're doing Thank for us, God. You, Thank Jesus. you for blessing us physically, mentally, spiritually, yes. emotionally healthy, financially healthy in every area every of our lives. Area. For giving your angels charge of us to keep us in all, all our, ways. our ways. Thank you, Lord, for those that are tuning in, those that, are, 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 those that have stayed for the whole broadcast, those that will be, be tuning in later, those that review it and, and, re, and re review it. And we all, we appreciate you for, for this time of talking, teaching, preaching, and this time of Bible study that we can come together to rightly divide your words of truth. And all that we say and do, that we do it to your glory to your praise and to your honor. And thank you, Lord, for those that have given and already gave today by Cash App, those that have have, have, have given by uh, 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 mail or, or those that just drop it off. And we thank you, Lord, for, for, for those that have uh, are, 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 are blessed financially. We thank you, Lord, for how you touch them in every way, God. But, Lord, we thank you for giving them the wisdom and knowledge and understanding on how to deal with the wealth of this very world. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen. All we do is win, win, win. Hallelujah. Because our whole thought is to stay focused. Hallelujah. On what God says we are, who we are, whose we are, the thoughts that he think about us. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are our authentic self. I embrace it. And I'm so glad about it. I've learned to love who God made in me. The me that God made. Mm -hmm. He's the one who validates me. Hallelujah. I, need, I seek his validation. I seek that I'm doing what is right in his eyes. So we want the Sunday, can you believe it, is the fifth last Sunday. Sunday. It's the last Sunday in October. Day. Can you all believe mm. that? Praise God. So we are just breezing through this year. So we want you all to stay safe, be careful. Again, I say happy. Happy homecoming to my alma mater. Amen. That was in Tallahassee. Those Amen. Rattlers. All right. Hallelujah. Pastor the Rattlers. Hallelujah. That's for that championship Rattler team. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we thank God um, for them doing right. It's turning cooler. Y'all take care of yourself. I want y'all to continue to stay safe out there. Don't let your guard down. Continue to do what is right. Continue to keep your hands washed. Continue to wear your mask. Continue to stay a safe distance. Those of you who the Lord has touched your heart that 
you 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 don't you know it is you don't find it a problem to get the vaccine get the vaccine get the booster get what you know the that that method that he has given hallelujah don't be afraid hallelujah be mindful be prayerful be led of the lord in all that you do praise god praise god praise god but we look forward to you thank god for you and i want you all to be sure you know the lord touch your heart to give bless us and we thank god for it bless us in a special way god bless you and keep you god bless all those october birthdays hallelujah Say, Lord, Lord, we thank you, we thank you for the victory, for the victory for our Lord and Savior, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, victory over sin, victory over, victory sin, over sickness, victory over, victory sickness, over anything, anything that's, not like that's not like you. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving, for forgiving me, me, for saving me, for saving me, me for filling me, me, me with your Holy, with Spirit. Your Holy Spirit. In Jesus', in Jesus name, name, amen, amen, and amen. And amen. amen. God loves you. God loves you. you. You and especially, especially you. you have an awesome especially and wonderful week. You, 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 Hallelujah. You. Glory. Thank God you, Lord. Bless you. We love y'all Amen. so much. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.